Okay, so we're talking about pressure volume loops and we're going to cover what a normal pressure volume loop should look like. And so you can see on the left side, the y-axis, we have volume and on the bottom over here, the x-axis, we have pressure. Okay, so when a patient gets a breath, let's say we're in volume control mode, let's say we're using um, assist control with a rate of 20 and a, a um, tidal volume of 500 mLs and a PEEP of 5, okay? So when the patient gets a breath, initially the, the breath is going to start at the where the PEEP is set. So we have a PEEP of 5, so this is where the pressure volume loop is going to begin and as the breath begins to be delivered, a mechanical breath uh, from the machine, um, you're going to see the, the uh, waveform pressure volume loop start to rise and take off from that peep level. And it's going to keep going up, pressure is going to increase, volume is going to increase until it reaches the target tidal volume of 500 mLs. Now once it reaches this point, it's going to cycle off and the patient's going to exhale and then everything will start to decrease again back down to wherever the set PEEP level is which is 5. Okay, So this is an example of a machine delivered um, tidal volume of 500 with a PEEP setting of 5. Okay, And so if we had the PEEP set at let's say 10 then it would start right here on the next or on that breath and it would just kind of go up in the same manner on inspiration until it reached that target tidal volume and then it would start to go back down to the set peep level. So just by looking at the pressure volume waveform, even if we didn't have these ventilator settings written for us in the uh, test question, we could still determine what the tidal volume is that's delivered because we can follow the highest point here all the way over to the volume side draw a line and we can see our tidal volume was 500 and we can also see what the PEEP is set even if that's not given to us because we can look at where the pressure volume loop began okay and lastly we can figure out what the peak airway pressure is as well by drawing a line straight down like so. And so it's somewhere in between 20 and 25 PAP. So those are a few things you can determine just by looking at the pressure volume loop. Oops. Okay, we got the PEEP equals 10 on the red loop and the pressure, peak airway pressure equals about 22 it looks like. 